2, let's play Gran Turismo 2, episode 103. Alright, now that Nissan is now complete, we are now going to sell two cars. Because as you can see here, I once again have the maximum number of cars I can have in my garage, and obviously, I'm going to need to sell two of them. Which is precisely what it is that I'm doing. So, I'm gonna have to sell both of my Mitsubishi's, unfortunately, because our sixth manufacturer in East City is Subaru. And of course, I'm gonna have to sell my Cyborg, which is actually very nice looking, and also take one final look at my Evo 2, because unfortunately, I'm gonna have to sell this one as well because I don't have the storage to keep it, unfortunately. And also because furthermore, it'll just make it easier for me, which is the main reason why I'm doing this. So heading back over to East City and now over to our sixth manufacturer in East City, which is Subaru. And since I do have the space, obviously, I'm going to purchase my two cars. So, I'm going to purchase this Subaru SVX and also get in it because this is the car I need for the next event. And I'm also going to purchase myself an Impreza as well because I may need that. And as for which one, well... I'm going to go for the Type R, you know, just because there's something that's telling me I have to get this thing in red, and so that's precisely what I'm going to do. In Rose Red, my car. And obviously not going to get in it now because I need the SPX for the next event. So, doing my usual... tactics on the engine, considering I would very much imagine this thing is probably a turbo. And obviously, I am of course going to check and see if this thing is a turbo and... Oh, it must be an NA. And if it does not have a turbocharger then I'm doubtless it probably doesn't have an intercooler. And yep, it is a natural aspiration engine, but obviously I'm not going to need that because I've pretty much done all the tuning I think I need to do for our next event, as there are only two events we have to do here at Subaru. One of them is the SBX challenge and the other one is the Impreza challenge. And well, the reason why I didn't choose my Impreza Wycan is, well, because I dare to be different. So I'm just going to head to the first race. And see how I fucking do. As we are going to run short for our first event. I will not hope. And yep, my microphone is turned on this time. And I did to do it. And okay. I don't think it was necessary for me to shift up into second. Because I just remember this thing is a four wheel drive. And. Holy shit, those are some long ass gears. Also, it is the forward course of road shorts that we are at. And, oh bollocks! Yeah, okay, I definitely went for a dive, but somehow I made the fucking thing work. I don't know how, but I just coincidentally made it work. Don't know how, but I just did, and... Oh, fuck me. 
Yep, someone just fucking dive bombed me. And I shall have to see if I can do the same thing in response. Or in retaliation if I have any. Because I really don't want this one to fuck off into the distance. And just fucking be chest to the floor. Because I'm not wanting that to happen. Oh, okay, I'm closing in. So, I may need to go for a dive here in order to make this work. Oh, fuck me. I did not think that was going to work, but somehow it did. And I'm blocking, I'm blocking. I am blocking for the lead. And this time, I am going to remember to cover the inside line. Because... Oh, stay behind me, stay behind me. Okay. They have stayed behind me. Do not attempt to pass me here. Please don't. Okay. They have not attempted any dive bombs. Well, pressure built up in certain areas, but I got the W in the end. So, it's alright. may have sounded a little tense through certain parts of this one, but I eventually came through. And I won by 7 tenths in the end over my three fellow SVXs, and then, good god, all of the S4 SVXs finished in the, bo finished in the bottom half. So I won by... 7 tenths in the end, and the gap from 1st to 6th in the end, just under 2.8 seconds. So, I'm suspecting the weather was in 6th at the time. They must have hit the wall hard. If they were going to be that far back. And so, somehow, in spite of all the countless mistakes I had on the first lap, I still eventually managed to come through somehow. But anyways, our first race is done. And now we can move on to the second, now we can move on to the second race. Also furthermore, that is actually a nice shot. I'm not gonna lie. That is actually a nice shot. And of course, I'm going to do my usual tuning tactics by putting on the stage 1 engine and also just putting on all three stages of weight reduction so I can receive the racing mod. It just makes sense for me to have this thing in blue for some reason. So yeah, there is that. And I'm also going to put on some sport tyres as well. You know, just in case. And I think that's about all I really need. And also, just because I'm in the mood to do so, I'll just put on some rims. And I'm gonna head down to uh, Yokohama. And the ones I'm gonna go for are. Actually, no, I'll go for these ones. I'll go for these ones. 
I know, I know I may not be able to see where the blue lines are, but it's just for one reason or another, because it's just something I would do. But anyways, done everything I need to do to convert my SVX into a race car, and now we can get on with the race car event dependent on knowing if we can win, and... Ah, okay, we're going to Deep Forest again. <laughs> Which actually makes a change for once. And let's see how we go for our first attempt. Considering I think I probably have everything I need in order to give myself the W. At least, I think I do. But anyways... Position. No, wait, second. I'm up into the second position after just one corner. And already I am on the inside. Looking for my inside line, and there it is. Up the inside I go as we are at Duke Forest Reverse for this race. Which I don't think is a course I've actually raced on before in the one mix. I mean, I know I've raced on the normal course a few times, but I don't think I've actually raced on the reverse course, if I remember correctly, because I don't think I've actually raced on the reverse course that many times. First attempt of the evolution meeting at Mitsubishi. Yeah, now I remember. Yeah, I have raced on the reverse course before. I wasn't going to try mountain reverse. Oh, um, anyways. Well, I'm completely open to speculation here, but I think this probably is maybe the first time I've actually raced at the forest reverse. I mean, I could be logistically wrong, obviously, but it's just what I think, because I cannot remember the previous time on where I raced here before this event, and... I thought for sure I was going to run wide there, but somehow I didn't. And also, furthermore, at the moment, I am managing to out just a little bit of an advantage over these AI who are just jostling at the moment or jockeying if you want to call it that whilst I of course am here and, uh, oh yeah oh yeah of course yeah now I remember yeah now I remember I originally raced here for the uh, focus challenge, yeah, that was my first attempt of the focus challenge. Yeah, now I remember. Also, furthermore, I win again. And haha, the normal SVXs have emerged over the S4 SVX models. I won that race by 9 tenths. And. Ha 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 ha! It was one of the S4s that finished at the back. That's even better. So, 1 by 9 tenths in the end. And the overall margin from 1st to 6th, 2.3 seconds. 
so a relatively easy W in the end, but again, it is actually nice to race on hard to reverse. And since this was our second and final race of this particular event. Obviously, I'm not going to save the replay and... Oh, god damn it. I still cannot save the replay, even if I am only... about... three bytes short. Is it megabytes in this? I kinda got the feeling it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. But still. Only four sectors short, that's all it is. Good god. Anyways. Yeah. Just checking to see, and uh, they're actually called sectors. Not. Okay, right. Anyways. <sighs> The SPX challenge is now complete, and so next up is officially the Impreza challenge. And since I have already bought the car I am using, obviously, I'm going to stick with that one. But anyways, in terms of progress now, we are officially 91.3% complete with this game. And. My win ratio is now up to around about 48 and a half, I think. But anyways, the SVX challenge is now complete, and coming up next is the Impreza challenge. And until then, stay tuned for more Gran Turismo 2.